Artisphere hosted Tandem NSI's recent National Security Deal Day to identify opportunities for entrepreneurs. We'll tell you more about that later in our program, but first, new transit stations along Columbia Pike will cost 40% less than originally anticipated, thanks to a review and redesign. Adjustments to the canopy, simplifying the design, and using standardized parts allows the county to build four different size stations and cut costs. To learn more about the transit stations and the streetcar project, go to arlingtonva.us and search streetcar. The 19th annual Walk for the Animals was great fun for all participants. The walk raises money to support animal care and rescue services. To adopt a pet from the Animal Welfare League of Arlington, check their website and choose from the dogs, cats, birds, and others who are looking for their home. Tandem NSI brings the resources of Amplifier Ventures and Arlington Economic Development together. Its Deal Day program matches national security entrepreneurs with those who need their skills. Take a look. Today is Deal Day. Today is about better connecting the, the federal agencies and labs with the innovators, with the innovation community. Tandem NSI is a public-private partnership. It was funded by the Commonwealth of Virginia and supported by Arlington County. We're in partnership with a private sector partner, Amplifier Ventures. In a nutshell, Tandem NSI connects federal labs and agencies with the innovation community. Um, Arlington County is uh, ground zero for uh, national security innovation. Uh, I believe that the most important driver for our nation's wealth and industrial development is national security technology. Every technology that matters to our economy since World War II has been financed and fostered by agencies based in Arlington County. Tandem is about connecting those dots, connecting people and ideas and really converging those people and ideas in order to grow companies and grow the community from an economic perspective. What I'm really getting from this conference are specific actionable items that I can take when I go back to our offices, um, such as looking at specific contract vehicles, looking at specific programs that are geared for entrepreneurs. You know, I had no idea that the government takes such an interest in finding us and that actively pursuing us through these different, uh, different ways. I did some research and it looked like the exact kind of forum I wanted to attend. It seemed like it had a, a great mix of government people, of funding entities, of entrepreneurs, venture capitalists, it really had it all. I had never heard of Tandem NSI and a friend uh, who's also in the process of building an entrepreneurial company said that he was going to be coming to this event and I should check it out and I looked at the speaker list and thought, oh, this is a great event for me to come to. And the fact that there are that, this many people there, it shows that there was a tremendous need for an event like this. Because if you don't know whom to approach, you're like walking around in a fog with these great ideas, but you don't know where to go. You can expect many more Deal Day events or events similar, again, in which we're connecting the innovation community with the federal agencies in a way that they haven't been connected before. To learn more about events offered by Tandem NSI, go to their website at tandemnsi.com. May is Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, and events around the county focused on the contributions of Asian and Pacific Americans. At the Columbia Pike Library, visitors enjoy poetry and a film from Nepal, and Arlington TV filmed an Arlington Historical Society presentation on Little Saigon, the neighborhood that grew up around Clarendon in the 1970s. Check our schedule at arlingtonva.tv to see this and other ATV programs featured at the library. Members of the Arlington Police Department gathered to observe Peace Officers Memorial Day, honoring the memory of those law enforcement officers who gave their lives during service to our community. The commemoration took place during National Police Week, which has been observed annually nationwide since it was proclaimed by President Kennedy in 1962. For more information or to donate to the National Peace Officers Memorial Service, visit the National Police Week website. Oh